Hello everybody, welcome back to Basics. I'm your host, The Crazy Uncle. Today we're going to deviate from what we've been talking about. We're going to go back a little bit into the prepping. In particular, cash. Okay, everyone likes cash because cash allows you to trade for goods. So, what's so bad about that? Now, I'm not going to be going over inflation or any of that shit right now. That's a whole nother thing. That's more of a talk over a beer. If you like that or my other channel, Simple Truths, links in the description. Enjoy. Uh, likes and comments, I appreciate. Subscribe is better. I don't like to actually get paid for some of this stuff, so, hey. Speaking of which, money. Okay, and we're just going to stick with cash right now. And I'm going to be focusing on the American dollar because that's what I usually work with. Now, I'm not going to go into bonds and mutual fund. Oh, never, never get a mutual fund. Never, ever, ever do that. No, n no, don't ever do that. I know I'm not a financial advisor, but everybody, including myself, that got in the mutual fund has lost big. I got screwed over because the guy didn't like that I was pulling my stuff out to reinvest it somewhere else. What a douche. Regardless, when prepping cash, you don't have to do this all at once. Okay, I want you to understand that it takes a while. It will take you about three to four months to get this down unless you have a lot of disposable income. And it's real simple. We're just going to go, you got your ones, your fives, your tens, your twenties. And your 50s okay now I know people can say well you got the hundreds too if you want to go beyond this that's fine but there's a reason it's diced up this way because if you only have to get ten dollars of fuel and for some reason the machines not working they're not accepting cards they can't open the till for whatever reason you don't want to hand them a hundred bucks because then you're out 90 you know you gotta think about this so it's real easy. For each of these, you'll get $200 worth over time. $200 in ones, $200 in fives, $200 in tens, $220, $250. Okay, for these ones here, this is actually the easiest ones because if you know an ATM that kicks out 20s and 50s, you can just draw it and be good that first month, you're good. All right. But here's the thing, you, the reason for 200 is there's how many of them? One, two, three, four, five of them. What's 200 times five? Guess what? That's one th $1,000 right there. That is $1,000 in what I like to call, oh shit money. Oh shit money. The reason I call it this is because this is what you have on hand to deal with that little crisis that's like, oh shit, I messed this up. Oh shit, my card doesn't work. Oh shit, somebody else hacked my account. Or, you know, hacked one of the many times they hacked things like Bank of America, which is a European bank, or USAA that got bought out and now is a, I don't even know where they're stationed now. Uh, but it's not, it's not the U.S., but if your bank gets, you know, says your card gets hacked by, say, Fakebook or something like that, you still have cash that can take over for that time. It could be something as simple as, it could be the uh, time where you owe your, say, your rent's due. You can show up and say your rent is 1500 and say, look, I can, can you give me an extension? I'll put 1000 down now. And when I get my card, I get you that other 500. Now, most places you won't even have to do that because they're not total douchebags. Some are. But if you do it this way, aside from these bottom ones, it's going to take a while before you build up to each one. The only way these are easy is if you go to, like, like uh, uh, what, what is that? communist Chinese run place in the US, a uh, Walmart. If you go to them and say, hey, can I get $200 in ones, you hand them 200 bucks, they'll probably charge you an extra 20 to do it, but they'll hand you $200 in ones. Uh, 
you know you can do that i mean if you actually have a bank that has a location you can do this and just go in there and get the 200 bucks straight up for most everybody you're just going to have to collect them over time just keep a somewhat running tally keep it someplace safe once you have everything i suggest i highly suggest that you vacuum seal it once you have this you throw it someplace safe and you don't worry about it. It is there as a backup. The reason for vacuum seal is so no bugs get to it. That's it. Okay, you're not trying to keep it fresh because plastic is not an oxygen barrier. Regardless, there you go. There's your oh shit cash. That's your prepping cash right there. This for a lot of people is your bug out cash right there. If things go really bad, which... I don't know if they'll go that bad and you actually get to a filling station of some sort you still have cash to barter with you still have cash to buy with because as long as cash is being used you can use this so keep that in mind save your silver gold and your barter items for when you when think when this shit don't work anymore you do that and you're better off so I hope this helps some of you out in case you're wondering why folks online are always like make sure you have cash around and I brought this up specifically because those folks they never talk about the basics the ba they, they overview everything very broadly and if they want to hit a subject it's usually something way up high like why truckers are having issues right now okay that's like an hour long freaking talk right there Regardless, when they say have cash on standby, do this, and you're golden. All right. So I hope this helped everybody out. But I'm done for this one. This is your crazy uncle. I'm out.